Coming up on Hands on Mac, it is time to take a look at a way to airdrop, essentially, files between a Mac, a Windows machine, and an Android device. Stay tuned. Podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. This show is brought to you by members like you. Thanks. Welcome back to Hands On Mac. I am Micah Sargent, and today we are taking a look at one of my favorite applications, uh, cross-platform applications, for being able to share files between different devices. Now, we know that Apple has provided a way for you to share files from one device to another device if you exist within the Apple ecosystem. It's AirDrop, and AirDrop makes it very easy for me to take a file that's on my iPhone, could be a photo, could be a PDF, could be anything, and move that file to my Mac using AirDrop. I can also AirDrop with other people. But what if I have a Windows machine and there's a document on that Windows machine that I want to take and move over to another device? Well, that is where the application LandDrop comes into play. LandDrop is a completely open source and free to use way to drop files between devices on your local area network. So if you have a Windows machine and an iPad and an iPhone and an Android device that are all connected to the same Wi-Fi network, you can drop files between them no problem. So we're actually going to take a look at that today and I will give you a peek at what it's like to be able to share files to these different devices. So Uh, Let me first show you, this is the iPad, and you can see that the app is available in the App Store, uh, once again, completely for free. And if I open this, uh, I'm presented with a screen where the first thing I do is I type in a name for the device that I have. That's the device in front of me. Next, I choose whether I'm discoverable. This, of course, gives the app the ability to display the iPad as one of the devices that's uh, working with LandDrop. Uh, Selected files, that will appear whenever there are files that I can actually uh, make use of. Devices shows devices that are on the network. when we have it enabled on other devices. Sending uh, shows you the files that you are sending and receiving, of course, shows you the files that are being received. The second screen, files, is a place to see what files have been shared between two devices. And of course, the last screen, the about screen, shows you all of the information about LandDrop. In the top right-hand corner, I have two buttons, one for, this shows a, a plus sign in the corner of a photo, and one that shows a plus sign in the middle of a folder icon. These two buttons uh, correspond to your ability to share photos and share files. Now, let's take a look at uh, what it looks like on a Windows machine. So here we are on the Windows machine, and I'm actually on the LandDrop uh, website, LandDrop.app. If I scroll down, you'll see here it is for iOS, for Android, for macOS, for Windows, and for Linux. So I'm actually going to downsize this uh, because I already have installed LandDrop on this Windows machine. And it will appear in your uh, bar here whenever we have turned it on. So I'm going to double click on the land drop file or rather the folder, and I'm going to hop in here and launch land drop. And once we've launched land drop, it will then appear uh, in this menu down here. And you can see it's a little uh, box with some kind of movement lines above it. And if we right click on this box, then you will see some different options. Send files, open the download folder, some settings about an exit. If we click on settings, we can see that this device, of course, is named Elvis. It shows the path where we're storing it. And then uh, here's that discoverable option. So I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. I want to show you uh, if I uh, right click on this and I choose um, send files, then you can see that uh, files can be dragged to this window to be shared somewhere else. But let's go back to the iPad real quick, because now showing up under devices is Elvis. I now have this running on the Elvis uh, PC. And so these two are able to talk to one another. Now, another place where I have actually installed this app is on a Google Pixel 6. So if I go to the main screen here and I swipe down and I uh, do a search for LandDrop, 
then I can launch land drop and I've named this device pixel. You'll see that it is also turned on to be discoverable that I've selected no files and the devices that are showing up are iPad and Elvis. So now moving back to the iPad, now you'll see that there's Elvis and pixel here. So let's show what the process looks like. Again, this is a, an iPad that I'm working with right here and I want to send some photos. So I'm going to tap in the top right corner to choose photos. And I want to send these photos of Henry. Um, I will choose add. And now there are four files that have been selected. You can see it says selected four files. I choose where I want to send those. So in this case, I want to send those to Elvis. When this happens, what's going to show up here on the Windows machine is uh, iPad would like to share four files of total size 3.5 megabytes. Confirm that the code 139086 is the same on the iPad, 139086. Would you like to receive it? Yes. I choose yes. I get those files and boom, they've popped up in the downloads section uh, right here on my Windows machine. Now, maybe there's something on my Windows machine that I want to take and send to my iPad. I can drag and drop the file onto the select files to be sent and then choose send. And now I choose what device I want to send those to. And in this case, I want to send it to my pixel. I choose send. And that information uh, will pop up on the pixel. And I can see that the code is the same, 284009. So I hit the little checkbox and that text file is delivered to the Landrop app here where I can then share or open that file uh, to be able to see what that looks like. And it lets me choose an HTML viewer, opening with Chrome or Google Docs. Once again, from the Windows machine, uh, I can say, let's send uh, another file. And so I'm going to choose the arrow key here, uh, right click on land drop, choose send files. And of course, this is available in some of the context menus as well. But I just want to show you kind of the most complete way of doing it. So I'll give a little bit of space here. And let's instead take this uh, PSD file. And we're going to send this to the iPad. So I'm going to choose the iPad, choose send. The code is 072921, and that matches. So I'll hit the checkbox, and it slowly but surely, actually quite quickly, to be honest, um, makes its way over to the iPad. It is now in the folders section, and that was an 18.12 megabyte file. I can tap to share or just simply tap on it, and up pops this PSD file of an 11-inch iPad Pro bezel. Now, this is all happening locally on the network. And again, I can't stress this enough. This is between an iPad, an Android device, and a Windows machine. And this app, of course, is also available for iPhone. It is really incredible that you can do this simple airdrop solution uh, that feels a lot like what's possible with Apple's own airdrop, but between these devices that typically don't have this level of interconnectivity. So I felt like you all needed to know absolutely about this service. I think it's incredible, or this app, excuse me, free and open source, again, uh, available at landdrop.app. Folks, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Hands on Mac, getting this special tip and trick. And I will, of course, see you again next week. If you've got topics you want me to cover, questions you want me to answer, all that good stuff, Micah at twit.tv is the email. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.